bar entrance. And it's really quiet this morning. It's great and that's our friends. Crazy little thing. With his sail hoisted up already. Okay, um, the wind's just picking up a little bit, not much. I think we've just got about four, maybe five knots of breeze. We've put the um, screecher out, code zero, whatever you want to call them things. And we're starting to puff along nicely, doing about, I don't know, Four knots. Four point five. Five knots. And we've got. So we're doing a bit better than wind speed. So this is our screecher, which is brand new. Uh, we just installed it today, well, a couple of days ago. That's the first time we tried it today. It's very light and big surface. And it's pushing us along nicely. We've got the main out too. The water is so blue. Nice. That's the setup that Paul did the other day. 
feels like the wind is picking up a bit more. Personally, I don't mind choppy, but this swell makes me a bit seasick. It's still under control, but I better go and eat something. coming around the double island point and Paul is about to furl this creature in. We will anchor for the night in the beautiful and sheltered lagoon at Rainbow Beach. the Double Island Point. It's been quite a, um, a quiet sail at the beginning to start with and then we were mostly motoring but then the, the wind picked up and we had two sails out, the new screecher and the, and the main. So it was very enjoyable. We um, left seven o'clock, we arrived at five o'clock and we had about 40 five miles to go. erosion, this avalanche that happened here. We are arriving to our anchorage. Those beautiful views around us gave us an idea and we had a slight change of plans. 
Instead of crossing the White Bay Bar tomorrow morning to Fraser Island, we decided to spend a day at Rainbow Beach. So tomorrow we will do the walk to Double Island Point and to the lighthouse on top of it. For now, we'll let you enjoy the sunset and we'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. Bye! Thank you.